Uh, in this brief video, I'm going to show you a little bit about how to use our visual mapping tool. It's an often overlooked feature that is extremely useful in the Import Genius service. So when you first sign in, this is the screen you see. Well, uh, visual mapping is right here in this tab, uh, the second tab from the left. So if you click visual mapping, and now we're going to bring up uh, visual mapping menu, and I'm going to search for a company called Lululemon. Uh, you've probably heard of them. They're a very popular brand of yoga apparel. So I search for Lululemon and right away I get this map, this uh, visual map we call it. It's sort of a spider web of trading connections. So Lululemon is in the middle and each of these green dots around the outside represents one of their suppliers. Right? And I can on the right side hit load next nodes that's another thing that people often overlook and uh, one of the reasons I created this video to help you guys understand how to use the service so load next nodes load next nodes load previous nodes are ways to navigate so because we only show 10 connections at a time otherwise it just becomes overwhelming as you can imagine if we had all 93 of Lulu Lululemon's trading connections shown here it would be really hard to understand what's going on so we show 10 at a time and let you cycle through them with these buttons on the right um, for any one of these suppliers, I can go and either set that as the route, which would load it up uh, the entire visual map with them in the middle and showing who their customers are, which is a very interesting way to look at the data as well. Um, or I could go view latest shipments and see what they've been shipping. In addition, for each of the suppliers right here on the visual map, I see who else they sell to. So it turns out that Shanghai Reliable Source Industrial, which is a supplier of Lululemon, also supplies Reebok. Reebok Canada and Warnico of Canada and like I said I could set them as the route and see who else they supply they probably have lots of other customers too the other thing I can do from here is go view latest shipments and that takes me back over to the search uh, shipment search in Import Genius and it shows me the last uh, last one year of data for that company now in some cases you may actually see a company that appears in visual mapping but then when you hit view latest shipments there's no shipments appearing and why would that be? It may be that they haven't done any shipments in the last year. So visual mapping shows all data from our database for the company. And so if they haven't done any shipments in the last year, they might still show up here as a trading connection uh, if they had older shipments than one year. So in that case, you're going to want to go back and search further back in time. Uh, standard plan users may run into an obstacle here where they only have access to shipment data for the last one year because that's all they pay for. Uh, and so they won't be able to see those older shipments even though they can see evidence that the shipment exists here on the visual mapping screen. Uh, if you run into a case like that, I would suggest either upgrading your plan to Enterprise and getting access to all that older data. Uh, enterprise subscribers get all of our data, so it's almost five years worth of shipment data where sub standard subscribers only get one year of data. So it's quite a limitation. You can upgrade your plan. You can also give us a call. Uh, our account managers and customer service team will be probably be more than happy to help you get some get access to some older data on a one-time basis and just, you know, maybe download the report and send it to you. We're, we're, we're really helpful and we're happy to do that for you. Um, so that's just one example. Now on the left here of the visual mapping, people often ask, what are these, what are these things here? Well, what you're actually seeing are separate companies with the name Lululemon. Now obviously these are actually not separate companies in most cases, but our system treats them as separate because their name is different enough and and you know computers being what computers are, they're not as good at recognizing when two things should be the same entity and when they should not. So you and I as humans we're very good at pattern recognition. I can go in here and say, well, Lululemon Athletica USA Inc is probably the same company as Lululemon Athletica Inc. Uh, however, that's a difficult rule to apply in all cases. There may, be, there may be times when some company with the name USA attached to the end is actually different than the name without USA attached to the end. Uh, and so all of these things are sort of uh, hard computer science problems for us to be able to merge all these records together. So, and, and, and you know, you may find other trading connections that are revealed when you click on some of these that aren't uh, revealed on the on the first entity, the first Lululemon Athletica entity. Uh, all this sounds very complicated because it is and it's a problem that our development team is actively working on trying to figure out how can we better teach our system to know that Lululemon Athletica USA is the same as Lululemon Athletica. Uh, expect to see progress from us on that front over the next few months and years, years ahead. It's something that we're working really hard on to be able to provide better stats 
aggregated across all these different entities instead of just as one Lululemon. Um, so that's probably it here for the things I want to show you on, on um, visual mapping for our service. If you have questions, by all means, reach out to us at the top up here. You see this customer service button or just click live chat directly and we'll be here to help you out. So thank you very much for your time. Look forward to hearing from you soon. We're, you can always reach us at 888-843-0272 or info at importgenius.com. Thank you very much.